I never ask you guys this here on this channel. If you aren't already, please consider subscribing. I think a lot of people forget to check that because almost 80% of people are not subscribed. They probably think this is just like the main channel and they're subscribed over there. So this is just a little reminder. This helps out my gaming channel a lot. So I think the world of AI simulations has just changed forever. This game is absolutely insane. This is Earth Royale 3. I played a lot of part one. That, however, just had a normal flat map. But as you can see here, we now have a globe. And this game is absolutely beautiful too. I mean, we can zoom into those pixels. This isn't even the largest largest map you can do. There's an even larger sphere to create. I just think my computer would explode if I tried that. Well, you know what? Now I'm just curious. Hold on. There's small. We just did medium. Let's do big. Okay, we could do it. It's just gonna take a, like a minute. Three hours later. I like how on the different globes, countries will have different colors. Or actually, I think they just always had different colors each load. So here we have this massive new earth. Wow. You really can just zoom into each individual island. Wait, how is this possible? No wonder it took forever ever to load. And look at the ocean. Look how beautiful that ocean looks. Okay, this is going to be insane. So we have a list of the top 12 countries by size. This is, of course, just going to go in order by territory in our world. Russia is the biggest country, then it's Canada and the US. What I love about this is it's not turn-based. Like, we're going to see countries get invaded and taken over, like, live. Australia literally just looks like Mars. Look at all the different, like, lakes you can literally see in Australia. That makes me want to check out Finland, actually, real quick, because Finland is, yeah, look at all those lakes. Finland and and Sweden, in fact. You might be asking, what are these dots inside of the U.S.? These are Native Americans, specifically reservations. And these are things in real life. This is actually what the U.S. looks like if you count, like, Native American reservations as being its own little thing. We also have Morocco here and Western Sahara. There's, of course, Israel and Palestine. Okay, I'm gonna take this really slowly. I'm, I'm not gonna go to three speed just yet. I'm just gonna have this tick away at the slowest speed. Now, we have to keep our eyes peeled when nations actually get taken over, because they will get taken over, and, and we can possibly miss everything. There's rumors of invasions for the uh, Moldavis. Maldives. Why do I always mispronounce that? India is called uh, Bharat. Bharata. So currently these islands are being invaded. We just can't really see because, I mean, they are literally like three dots. I think India might have taken this dot. It's like the worst example to like watch a nation get taken over. We need to watch like Russia or China get taken over because that's going to be kind of beautiful. I've seen it happen before, but not on this large sphere. But we have an actual accurate map. Uh, again, this is the de facto world. Uh, this is what Ukraine is basically looking like right now with Crimea and obviously See this part getting chopped away. There's actually a Moldova here. There is a rumored invasion plans of Dominica. Another small place. Something bigger. That's what I'm looking for. It is August 2024. We're ticking away, so we're very quickly going to be in 2025. I've never seen the Caribbean, um, the Caribbean area like this detailed. Like, look at all the Bahamas right here. There's even a Bermuda, I believe. Ireland joined the invasion of Cabo Verde. Why are they doing that? Why is Ireland participating in African imperialization again? Well, they didn't do it in the first place, but I mean, again, as like that already happened to that continent. Romania is demanding that both Bulgaria should willingly be annexed. Oh man, things are getting tense diplomatically here in Europe. Bulgaria held a referendum. Only 9% voted to join Romania. So there might be an invasion now. Oh yeah, look, it's happening right there. Okay, so Romania decided they are going to invade Bulgaria. Will anyone else join in? Will Greece or Turkey? Now the borders haven't been drawn just yet. As you can see, these were the original borders. Once the war is over and once Bulgaria has actually been taken over completely, they will redraw everything. Bam, and then there they go. So this is now just all Romania here. Crazy that Greece and Turkey just allowed that to happen. They didn't try to eat any of them. We've now entered 2025. I like how you can physically see just how flat the lowlands are. Like, there's no, obviously, mountain range that Switzerland has. Panama has started draining the water around them with help of their neighbors. Wait, what is Panama doing? Okay, so Haiti, I think, took over the majority of uh, the Dominican Republic, and I believe this might be the U.S. because they invaded from Puerto Rico. What are they saying? Oh my goodness, you can actually see it? Wait, what the hell is this? How is this possible? Okay, so they just became way thicker. This is, uh, this is a Panama on steroids. The draining project is done with these results. Basically, Panama gaining 3,000 units, Costa Rica also gaining 41, and Colombia 57. What? Okay, so we're heading into the future where we can, like, reclaim land. I think that's basically what happened. There's a rumored invasion plan for Iran. Wow, this is getting interesting. And barely anything's really happened. Pakistan just joined the invasion of Iran, so this is mainly done by, wow, literally everybody. All of Iran's neighbors right now. Pakistan, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, I believe this is, uh, this is Azerbaijan, and Iraq. They've all just had enough of Iran, clearly. These going to be some really interesting borders as soon as the peace deal happens. Look at the little enclaves that uh, Iran still has. So there's still like rebels. There's still rebel groups back behind here, but uh, they're about to surrender. All right, so these are the new borders of the Middle East. We have a way thicker, pretty much everything. The UAE also joined at the very, very end. Wow, I can't believe they all just decided, hey, let's just get rid of this guy. There's now currently a flood in Bahrain. I don't think we're going to be able to physically see that because Bahrain is a very small country. The United States is, oh boy, the United States is demanding that Mexico should be willing to be annexed. 
so there, there should be a referendum, I'm thinking. Flooding has stopped. So Bahrain has lost six units. That's basically six pixels. It's, so it's not much in this universe. Mexico has heard the referendum. Only 5% of Mexicans decided to join the Americans, so that means that it failed. That means the U.S. is also, in turn, about to invade. So here we go. We have another Mexican-American war. This time, I think they're going to try to take all of it. Now, it's going to be interesting if Belize or Guatemala join in, though. That's interesting about this, this game. You really need to know your geography because none of it is labeled. I mean, I, I think I can do it, but I will be honest. I'm a little bit confused for some of the smaller countries, especially with some of these Native American reservations. So they are into Mexico City. They've grabbed the vast majority of Mexican population already, moving down the uh, Baja Peninsula peninsula right here. Wow, so they're really not going to do anything about this. I mean, they could have easily taken the- I don't know if they want to piss off America like that, though. They also did a naval invasion, probably from Puerto Rico or Florida, to attack the Yucatan Peninsula. Look how much this changes. I mean, it actually doesn't change anything at all. I thought the U.S. would get into at least second place. I think- I mean, the Canadians are still way ahead. We have a while to go before we see any, like, ranking changes. There was a flood in South Africa. They lost three units. There's a rumored invasion of Brunei coming up. So we saw that notification pop up with Iran, and and then it took like maybe like six months before the war actually took place. Okay, that did definitely, that did not take six months. Uh, Malaysia has already attacked and annexed Brunei completely. That was really quick. So Singapore, you better watch out. Next rumored nation to be invaded is Car here in Africa. And there it is. So they, wow, literally all their neighbors. So they just took them out very easily. Another vote for referendum. So all the countries are saying, I mean, the population doesn't want to just join. I think those events will be more likely to happen as we get further into the simulation. Oh, I completely forgot about Antarctica. So I don't think Antarctica is a function country or anything. It's just kind of here, and there obviously is, like, no North Pole either. There's a rumored invasion of New Zealand. Oh boy, the spinning wheel of death. Okay, we're, we're okay for now. I'm just going one speed. I can already hear my computer sound like an airplane. So it's Australia that's taking over New Zealand, and they're attacking the Northern Island first. I wonder if the naval invasions are harder for the AI or the simulation to calculate, or is there another massive, um, invasion happening somewhere else? Like, when Russia gets invaded and taken over, I can definitely tell my computer is gonna be down. It's, I mean, we're already at, like, one FPS right now. Yes, please kill the Kiwis so we can run a little bit faster. They really have a third island down here? I guess they have plenty of islands in New Zealand. Tonga, you're a little bit late to that, but alright, bro. The United States is demanding that Rosebud should be willing to be annexed. They did not. I don't know where Rosebud is, but I'm I'm thinking it's one of these. I don't really see what it could be. Ooh, Syria might be next. It could be a co- uh, co-operation between Turkey and Iraq, possibly. Oh no, it's Israel! Oh wow, Israel launched the invasion here, and they really didn't get much, but yeah, everyone else got all that stuff. Keep trying to see, like, did China take over, uh, Kazakhstan? No. That there is a border, they just have a very similar color. The next European country could be Czechia. And there's plenty of nations that could jump on this invasion. I think when it's, like, a rumored invasion like this, pretty much all their neighbors join in. Yeah, so it's not a, an individual attack. Okay, so Germany got back the Sudeten lands like they've always wanted. This, like, really thick Panama still, like, really trips me out. Next to fall is likely, uh, Jamaica with Cuba and Haiti joining in. This is, like, the new Cyprus of the North America, I guess. Here goes Somalia. Ethiopia getting a lot of that. Holy crap, here is an invasion for India. Wow. Okay, and Nepal's getting a lot of it. So is Bangladesh and Pakistan. I can't believe it. Does Sri Lanka join in? Wow, this is going to completely change the game. Look how big Pakistan's now getting. Also, Nepal completely stopped China from getting much. So we now have, I mean, I don't know why I'm wanting to call Bangladesh uh, East Pakistan again. That was a long time ago, Drew. But we have Pakistan finally getting their revenge. Okay, Sri Lanka got just a barely a little bit of that. South Africa. Africa quickly took out uh, Eswatini. Now, without India here in the top 12, things have changed, but the rankings are still about the same, at least in the top four. Wow, look at Morocco go, and it was just done by African nations. Spain barely got any of that. Oh, that's right, Spain does have a little jumping off point, but I don't think they invaded. Is this the Western Sahara? No, I think they got eliminated. Spain started evading Portugal, so we have another Iberian Peninsula. The Iberian Union is back once again. I mean, I guess the Iberian Peninsula has always been there, but the Union, that's the new thing. Who's invading Guatemala? I I should have known. It's obviously the U.S. Korea is demanding that Japan should be willingly annexed. Japan almost joined them. 43% of the vote. That's crazy. They were almost down. So they're going to take the Northern Ireland Island from them. How is South Korea invading Japan? There's no way. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying that's kind of funny. What were you doing, Japan? Focused way too much on anime production. That's what I'm thinking. Entire military was working at, you know, Studio 
Ghibli or something. This is a very round looking Germany. Look at that. I actually thought Germany, did Germany eat? No, I don't know. There goes Ecuador here getting eaten by Peru and Colombia. The draining project is done. The following results. Oh, wow. China just got 300 uh, extra units, but where? It's definitely not as thick as Panama got. They got like over a thousand. Is it this? I don't, I don't know where they had like their draining project. And South Asia looks so ugly right now. Pakistan gets even bigger as they attack Oman. Oh, wow. Look at that. Finally, some of it. Okay, so Iraq held a referendum to join Saudi Arabia. They did that peacefully. Oh, wait, no, they, did they? They've willingly, yeah, Iraq was just willingly annexed by the Arabians. So that wasn't even a war. That's kind of nice. I mean, you know, you get to live now. A lot of places are now beginning to vote and willfully be annexed because the world's in clear chaos. So I like in the very beginning, most countries say no. But as we're obviously entering into a World War III, there are more and more countries like willing to be eaten by their bigger neighbors. We have a unified Oceania here with Australia and New Zealand. I just love how beautiful this game is with the stars in the background, the sun as it's turning, or the earth, I guess, is that it's, it's turning. Sorry, I am a non-Galileo believer. I guess supposedly in this video. Oh, completely forgot about the city states. Andorra just got annexed. Look, you can see the Vatican City and San Marino. Where's Liechtenstein? I think this is Liechtenstein. I think either Monaco already got taken out or they're not here. They probably just got taken out because this game has literally everyone. And there is now an invasion of France. Germany not getting quite as much as I would have thought. It's really Spain getting a lot of that. Look at this small island join the invasion of France. Even Canada, and I believe this is because Can uh, France has that island, St. Pierre Island, off the coast of Canada. Oh, I forgot that we can actually. Oh, wow. I didn't know I could scroll down. So the amount of we have left are now well, is it 193? No, we started with 193. Or maybe, maybe we didn't, actually. We started with more nations. Well, regardless, France is no longer here. So some of the islands joined in. There's a lot of random places that joined in on the invasion of France because France had so many overseas territories. Remember, they got a bunch of things still from their colonial days. There's a rumored invasion of thick Panama. Okay, Panama, you got too thick for your own riches? I don't know. So this is Costa Rica and Colombia that got most of this. Ran Colombia is going to make a comeback. I'm just curious how well the game is going to continue to run as we eliminate more nations. Will it run? maybe better or will it run worse at this point that's what I'm continuing on for that's what I want to see wow so there goes big old Brazil they were in the top 10 I think in terms of territory love that it's like Suriname and Guyana that's getting a lot of this oh yeah because uh French Guyana is gone and there goes Jordan Saudi Arabia continues to get bigger possibly Ireland's gonna get invaded next of course it's the British not surprised by that now, Earth Royale 1 also had other events too there were a bunch of crazy events I think like uh was there hurricanes possibly I'm not seeing the crazy crazy stuff I'm sure is the game continues to get developed we'll see more of the insane events there's like unions too we're not seeing that just yet but this is still like an alpha i think build so chile has just been oh wait no argentina was just completely taken out the landscape of south america is completely different now no argentina no brazil it's now just a massive race between that never happens in simulations so that's kind of interesting oh no now the philippines are next who's gonna take out the philippines is it mostly indonesia or no it's malaysia it looks like down here obviously the game wouldn't be running at one frame a second if i didn't have a massive globe but that's part of the fun didn't see the vietnam was taken over by Cambodia and Laos. There goes Latvia. Yemen just annexed uh, um, La Somaliland peacefully. Look at that jawline of Chad. Chad gets so much thicker. Moldova is now got, I think. Wait, what is that? Oh, so this is Transnistria. I, think I made a mistake earlier. Wind River. So the U.S. AI is still cleaning up a lot of the Native American reservations, which they're going to do. That's going to take a while. This is going to actually distract the U.S. for a, a long time. It kind of nerfs the U.S., which you probably need because they're on a continent by themselves. They could probably take over everyone if they wanted. Uh-oh. Planned invasion of Israel, and there they go. So I think Palestine got a bunch of stuff back. Here's Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Egypt. Flood started in Costa Rica. Remember, they got a bunch of territory. Now I want to see how much they're going to lose. They didn't lose that much. 76 units. Everyone's going after the UK. My computer is going to explode before I can get there. There's going to be a bunch of people that join in on this. Wow, that's Belgium that's taking over a majority of the UK. Spain, of course, has to join in because uh, the UK had Gibraltar. Not anymore, though. Yeah, my computer definitely struggles with the bigger nations when they're being annexed. United States also joined that invasion of the UK. I don't know what they got. Perhaps Bermuda. The issue is continental like their actual mainland in the British Isles that's already been eaten but all the other stuff has to get eaten too that's why we have Cote d'Ivoire and Cuba and the Bahamas joining in the UK clearly has a lot of land because I'm still not moving okay there we go uh Germany held a referendum to join Switzerland 47% said no and now Germany's being invaded by Switzerland look at that massive Swiss lake how huge Switzerland is wow so the only problem now I'm starting to see and I forgot this was an issue with Earth Royale uh, 1 but I like how I mean they, the game looks beautiful but as the game progresses we're gonna we won't be able to recognize the borders as well i mean look at switzerland they're they're unrecognizable and then it gets harder to track like who's who i don't necessarily want 
to have like a big old font over everything, but maybe we, we might have to, especially as we get into like 2055 and the 2100, because I don't even think we're going to be able to, I mean, this is still Nepal. I can still make out that that's Nepal, but once they take over Pakistan and Bangladesh, I don't think I'm going to be able to guess that's Nepal anymore. It's going to look like India to me. I can't believe Russia and China have not been in any wars or have taken out anybody. Technically, they've, they've grown slightly, but not much. Costa Rica is currently being eaten by Colombia and Nicaragua. Bougainville is here. That's right. They're like supposed to be the next independent country. We're going to see about that in the coming years. Wait, Denmark is in sixth place? Is Denmark taking out Canada right now or what? Oh no, another blue wheel of death. Yes, they are. It's Canada getting invaded, I think. Everyone's invaded Canada. Or no, Iceland joined. No, everyone's invading Denmark. Sorry. So remember, Denmark is really big because of Greenland. Canada is going to be solidly in second place now. They won't pass up Russia, but this is going to hurt the U.S. a lot because Canada now has access to the largest island on Earth, technically. Don't consider Australia. But I like that the numbers are, you can see like the live number reaction. <laughs> the numbers are reacting. Well, Denmark just has Greenland. They have some islands and then they've already been taken over by, of course, Switzerland over here. We're still not over yet. I can still see a faded border here. So Iceland got some stuff. Who is this? This is Norway. They got some stuff out of Greenland. It wasn't just Canada. Canada could have gotten even bigger if they wanted, but that did not happen. Oh, Ukraine finally might be getting taken. Yep, they did. And it was mostly by the doing of Russia and Belarus, not surprisingly. There goes Thailand now, which Malaysia is getting pretty big because they already have all the Philippines. Greece is next. And wow, because the color didn't change much next to North Macedonia. Turkey, of course, their biggest rival got a lot of that. They got Crete. They got like, Athens. Finland is next. The Winter War will not repeat here because Russia is going to get the majority of Finland. Oh, this is definitely going to cause some trouble. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Kazakhstan's a big country. So Russia is solidifying their top spot as the biggest country on Earth. One of the things I do really like about Earth Royale is that any country can win. Like, literally any country. So size doesn't super matter. Oh, wow. I think, oh, wow, that was weird. Just went upside down for a second. So just because you're big does not mean really anything. I mean, it's, it's pretty random. I didn't even realize we have a really long Luxembourg boy. There goes Estonia. So it's Lithuania that's won the at least Baltic Battle Royale. They're the final member here. And there's an Oshlis of Austria, but that is by Switzerland. Remember that? I almost forgot about that, actually, is what I'm saying. Oh, we got a really big, nice, this is kind of like, well, we're still far away from Mussolini's dream, but it's a lot thicker of an Italy. Now they just need to go into the Balkans. It's the naval invasions that give the AI a lot of trouble. That's where I see my frame rate really start to struggle. Fort Apache has started draining the water around them. Isn't Fort Apache and how what water that can they drain? Yeah, they got one unit from that. Okay. Who's going to win the battle royale here in South America? So I believe this is Uruguay and then Peru up here or whatever happened to Bolivia. Is this Bolivia? Yeah, that this is this big blue country is Bolivia. Here's Guyana. They share a similar color. Now who's this brown country though? Oh, Paraguay, I think. By the year 2040, the top 10 is Algeria, Norway, Saudi Arabia, Uruguay, Bolivia, Australia, then it's China, the Americans, Canada, and Russia. Obviously, this game has a lot of potential. I can't wait to see what happens next. I really like it. It's, it's beautiful. This would be crazy. Maybe next time I'll come back and load a smaller sphere so we can go until there's only one left because this was crazy. To my patrons this month, thank Lucas, you. Lucas, the Canadian goose from Avaka. <laughs> Zany boy. Sarsaf. I cannot sleep without douche. Amateur archaeology. Fat Carmel. Norwalk. S. Connor. The beautiful Megan. Frederick Tiblin. Wizarder. Kansas. Jerry Ron. Denver. King Bear. Hey, Lucas Prentice. So if you heard this, I love you. And the Max Hammer. 760.